Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program Career Mode! Ignore this. You don't need to be concerning yourself with what that is. This is episode 7, and what were we doing? We were on a, a mission. A mission to space. No, we were in space. We are on a mission to the moon. That was the next objective. Trying again for the third time? I don't know. And there's also someone stranded in orbit somewhere, but we don't really care about him. But we will save him at some point, I swear. Rocketry is logical, Mark 1. There he is. Jeb, probably. Usually is Jeb. In fact, I think it actually is Bob, or is it Jeb? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we got this into orbit with loads of fuel, absolutely tons of this stuff. And then we got loads of fuel in this lander as well, so we're well equipped. Absolutely well equipped. Um, people have been telling me that the best way, the most efficient way to uh, get science back is to spam the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The spam the words. That's it. Spam words. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to spam transmissions because it just, uh, it just seems like cheating, really. I prefer to do proper science down on the moon and bring back samples and things rather than just spamming transmissions. Because really, in real life, you do, you do, okay, repeat experiments are important, right? Repeat, repeating your experiment many times to make sure it's correct is the proper way to do things, but it's going to be a lot less likely that you're going to need to transmit that many times and do the same experiment so many times in, a, in an environment like a vacuum, for instance. Down on the moon, bringing back samples, sure, many different samples from many different biomes, importantly, so that you can see what the composition of the moon is. Bringing back many of those is going to be much more, um, much better for everything in general, rather than just bringing back the one if they changed the music, I don't know. I feel like the music has been changed in Space Tourism on Lathe. The uh, the music plays despite the fact you're in atmosphere. Whereas I swear it used to cut out. I'm fairly sure of this. Oh well, we'll see. Anyway, not even commentating the video. And it's live. This is live series. Well, our trajectory is taking us straight down. Um... No, I don't want to do that. I want to be safe. This is live. This is proper career mode. We've got to be safe. We've got to do things correctly. Enzo Elysium is playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. Good for him. Should be recording uh, Space Tourism later. That'll be good. Anyway, professionalism, Harvey. There you go, professionalism. Burning 90 degrees, somewhat. 90 degrees. And we're going to raise our periapsis just a few kilometers off the surface. I'm being called by people. And now, half an hour later, I return to carry on with the mission. Those were the ominous taps there. Um, 16 kilometers. That's way too high. I need to turn this vessel around. Come on, turn faster. There we go, time acceleration. Perfect. What could go wrong? Using physics warp. Full gyroscope throttle. Uh, stop. It means we have a lot of momentum, and therefore a lot of mass, and therefore hopefully a lot of fuel. Okay, three kilometers. Ooh, that's risky. There are mountains higher than that. Ah, we've got to have some risks, haven't we? Come on. Got to have some risks. And I don't like how the electricity is going down like that. Although these engines are the electricity generating engines at the moment. OV99s don't, so... Hopefully the last burn will give us the energy we need. And store it up. For the very last time. Ooh, okay, we're on the dark side. The dark side of the moon. Well, this might be a tricky landing, but we'll see. Hopefully we won't explode. I really hope we won't explode. Let's burn upwards. Let's burn upwards right about now. Come on. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. We're going to explode. Ah, I was pressing D. Damn. D for damn. God, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute fool. An absolute cretin of a person of a... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're back here. This is this is the moment that Jebediah failed to land on the moon. Let's land. Let's land correctly. Oh, Jebediah woke up suddenly. He had blacked out for over half an hour, and in that dream, he dreamt that he'd been stranded down on the surface of the moon. By God, man. He reported this back to his mission control, and they refused to believe it. 
He underwent all this psychological medical test beforehand. He could not be suffering on this mission. So what did Jeb do? Jeb said it was a joke. He, he said he was just joking. He carried on the mission. And that's what's happening right now. Weird dream, huh? Well, crazy dream. Two flights had happened in the dream, in the space of half an hour. Okay, here we're coming over the mountains. Oh, isn't there the uh, the thing over there? Yeah, let's get that. This means we've lost all the unlocks we've we've been working towards, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, I think it is. And it's also yeah, everything we've done since this flight, I've just lost by quick loading. Ah well, let's uh, no, not that way, that way, because we should be coming up to the easter egg. Where is it? It's an arch. An arch very near here. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, I don't know. We ran out of fuel last time. We probably don't want to... Well, we didn't. We still had fuel left in these tanks, but we probably just want to land normally. Yeah, okay. We're just going to land in this crater here, then. That's what's going to happen. Going to do a perfect normal landing, just like we're supposed to. Okay. And then, then we'll end the video... No, no, then we'll return. We'll, we'll, take, we'll plant a flag, we'll take a sample, and then we'll go back. Return to our planet. Okay, cut the engines. Time warp down a little. Okay, engines on again. See if we can land on this crate, perhaps. There we go, cancel out our lateral velocity. There we go. And fall straight down. Point straight up, essentially. Nearly straight up. Open up those landing gear. There we go. There's the arch. You can just see it there. Ah, uh, well. Time accelerate for a little bit. Okay, now cancel out. Drop down to 25 meters per second, I think. And there we go. 22. <clears throat> okay, coming down. Do we have any lights? Nope. No, okay, we don't have lights. Okay, burn. Okay. Descending velocity. Can see the rocks. Okay. And we have contact light and touchdown. Very nice, very gentle. Not at all foreboding of things to happen in the future. Extend that. There we go. Electrical charge being used by what? SES. I had the SES on. Never do that. Never do that when you're landing on the slope. Because it will constantly try and push you back over to face upwards. Okay, let's uh, keep that data. Reset the glue container. Baderba derba. Observe mystery glue. Goo. Seems to be less dense. Keep that data. Observe mystery goo. Seems to be less dense. Keep that data. Uh, let's transfer into here right now. Look, we have loads of fuel. Tons of the stuff. We'll be able to make it off easily. Okay. The first moon landing in style. Jebediah Kerman. There we go. What a dramatic shot of him right there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful in every single way. This is history, this guys. This is history. Let's plant a flag. Yes. The Union Jeb. Excellent. Planted by Jeb himself. Site name... First landing. No, I called it. I called it small steps, didn't I? I want to carry on that. Cannon. You know, I've got to follow the cannon uh, as it fires the cannonball. Black text. Um. Well done. You made it from the blue one to the grey one. You made it from the blue one to the grey one. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well done. Absolutely. Right, now go home before anything mysteriously bad happens in terms of fuel supply. Take service sample. Contain a combination of breccia and melted materials. I've got no idea what breccia is, but I'm sure it was good. Jump. Okay, jet back a little. There we go. Into the container. Board. I'm not. I'm very interested. I'm very interested. And we can... Uh, Basically launched straight up. Excellent. Okay, let's go. We have plenty of fuel. Absolutely plenty of fuel. 
Now let's just hope we don't return the electric charge. I'm not going to use advanced SAS. That's the way not to run out of electric charge, right? Although my adjustments will probably actually cost us more. So, no, I will use ASS. There we go. Come on. Was that... Was that the arch? Yeah, you can just you can just see the arch at the bottom there. Hang on. There it is. You see that? Yeah. I can see that. Anyway, Jebediah Gurman, burning, 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 burning. Will he have enough? Only time will tell. And approximately five minutes of more footage. 500 meters per second. Reaching orbit of velocity. Escape velocity even. 600 meters per second. And there it goes. Oh, come on. There it goes. And perhaps it's lowering, lowering, lowering. Seven units of electrical charge. 35 units of fuel left. Plenty. And there we have it. Uh, within the atmosphere and then down to about 20 kilometers. There we go. This is going to be the first successful moon landing and return ever. For both cases. There's the planet Earth. Kerbin even. Planet Kerbin. And here's our space capsule. And here's the atmosphere. Excelente! Okay. Let's do a bit of time warping. If we successfully recover the entire ship... Okay, I don't like this spin. Will we gain more... more scientific points? Who knows? Perhaps. There's the fire. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Okay, and... Eject. There we go. Might as well burn these, because why the hell not? Burn! Burn. I said burn. Why aren't they burning? Burn! Oh, crap. <laughs> Yay, we burnt one of them. Okay. Hang on, let's burn the rest. We don't want to be lopsided. Burn! And and you burn. And I can't click on it. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, it's already gone. And finally one. There we go. This is to make sure that the uh, inhabitants of the capsule is barfed up has been sick to remove any potentially contaminated uh, internal stomach fluids. Okay, let's have a look here. So we should be opening our parachute in... I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say five, four, three, two... Oh, god damn. One second off, come on! I would've got away with either one, zero, or go. I had three seconds later that I could've got away with anything, but no one had to be a second early. Okay, time up this down. We probably might as well transmit the data now. We'll see if we can. Uh, where's review stored data? What did get? Does this destroy the actual original one? I don't know. Probably not. It most certainly doesn't. But I'm not going to do it <laughs> because I've said that now, and that would jinx it. I'm certainly not going to discard. Just keep, keep. There we go. Okay, land, and we have touchdown on the planet Gerbin. Awesome, let's recover our vessel. Jebediah Kerman, the hero he was. What a wonderful guy. People later asked him why he didn't go, and uh, why he didn't go to the Moon of Arch. And it was all because of a dream he had. EVA report while in space over high over the moon, 24 science. Surface sample, 120 science. And recovery of a vessel, 30 science. 182 in total. Let's go into our recovery, our center. Okay, so we haven't unlocked those. We want to unlock all that. So we shall research this. We shall research this. I want batteries and generators. Where can I get them? There's batteries there. More science and comdish. Not particularly useful. Winglets. Command module. Probe. Inline reaction wheel. Do need the batteries. I really do need the batteries. And then there's this one. Aerodynamics. All the amazing aerodynamics. Oh, you know, I want aerodynamics really badly, actually. That would... That does make things. It does make... It certainly makes things. And uh, what's this one? Fuel lines! <gasps> Fuel lines! Fuel lines are amazing. Fuel lines are the best thing. I've already had this conversation in a previous episode. Okay, we have 90 science. Oh, no, this would cost 90 science. Okay, we wouldn't be able to get it today anyway. Okay, so we research this one, and then we go for that one next. And that one's rubbish. So we're going for this one next, and then we're going to 
Uh, we've already got struts. Okay, good, good, yes. That one next. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Career Mode and... This episode of Career Mode. And we'll be back in the next one. I'll see you all next time.